Hi, this is Stacy from The Advisor, and I'm very excited today because we have an amazing, actually two amazing guests today. We have Mary Lopez Carter and David Carter, and they own the Carolina um, Health um, uh, Hemp Hut, and they are here today to talk about uh, the benefits of CBD because CBD is a big topic. It's been very popular. It's been a lot of scientific evidence has been coming out through the years on how beneficial it is for people and their health and how it, so many different different conditions have improved and symptoms have in, have gotten even less and people have been able to function better using CBD. So Mary and David, who would like to begin? I want you guys to tell a little about each of yourselves and you know what you do and, and let everybody know. The world wants to know. Well, the story well, of Carolina Hemp Hut begins with Mary, so she's going to cover all this. Okay. <laughs> go for it, Mary. <laughs> yeah, <there we> go. <laughs> so I actually... The reason I got started in CBD as a business is because David, back in 2010, had a recurrence of a brain tumor, mm -hmm. and it was a very rare brain tumor. It's an intracranial melanoma without a primary on the outside of the body. Oh, wow. And the doctors didn't know how to treat it. Mm. They're like, well, we don't know if we should do chemo, we should do radiation, um, you know, immunotherapy, uh, but what they basically ended up doing was just removing the tumors and said, okay, no chemotherapy, because we don't really know if that would work for you. Right. So uh, when, when he had that recurrence back in 2010, I started doing research as to, well, maybe there's some holistic way to help Dave eliminate cancer, prevent cancer from coming back, all of that. And I came across medical marijuana mm -hmm. and that was illegal back then. It's still right. illegal here in North Carolina where we're located, but uh, it always stuck with me that cannabis was a good thing. It was good for your body. And then fast forward to 2018, I discovered CBD mm -hmm. and I'm so excited because it passes the blood brain barrier and it does all of these wonderful things neurologically and systemically for the body. And I started buying it for the whole family. I took it myself for sleep. We have a kid with ADD, ADHD, parents that are aging and you name it. And so all of us and the whole family started taking CBD and feeling so much better right. because it regulates all those systems in your body and it just puts it into homeostasis. Yes. It's not a cure. It just makes your body function better. Exactly. And we just fell in love and thought, oh, this is it. We're, we're just, we're big fans. We're advocates now and promoters of cannabis for good health and that's how we got started on it with opening up stores back in um, 2018 and 19. And now we have two beautiful stores, two retail stores in North Carolina and an online store where we ship all over the United States. Oh, that's wonderful. You know, I, it's, it's, it's amazing all the benefits that CBD can, you know, provide, you know, especially even relaxation, stress, panic attacks, and, you know, things that are yeah. stress related. People don't realize, but 70% of the illnesses uh, caused in humans are stress related. And, you know, being able to relax and being able to not have to, you know, uh, get yourself so worked up that you either have anxiety and anxiety can go into depression and you can have panic attacks and not be able to focus, you know, and CBD is, has been known to, you know, help focus better and help in increase, you know, your clarity. And when also, you know, the funny thing is, is people don't realize, but there are many different strains of the marijuana leaf and the marijuana, there's, there's over a thousand different strands. And, you know, every part of the leaf has a different, you know, a different component that helps with different parts of the brain. And one of the things it could either there's part, parts of CBD that can relax you and there are actually CBD that can energize you. And, you know, maybe you can talk a little about that because some people suffer from anxiety and some people are just plain old fatigue and they just want to get that energy going, you know. I, I, I'm going to jump in here because when it comes to matching what people will come into our dispensaries and shops and they'll ask questions based upon how they feel. Right. And <laughs> you're dead on. I mean, there's so many different nuances to uh, it's botanical health. And so I'm sure you've heard this before and other people have discussed it. Linol, which is in lavender is a calming agent. Right. Uh, Myrcene. There's other terpenes that are calming agents. There's other uh, fragrances, bouquets, there's other ingredients, the cannabinoids and, and a whole host of other possible compounds that are available in bot botanical uh, products such as hemp. 
Right. And we've learned the nuances of many of them. We're not experts in everything, but we've, yeah. we've learned through trial and error and anecdote and study. The wonderful thing about hemp is if you can find, like you were saying, the strains or the strains that have the terpenes and the benevolent compounds that we're looking for, you can match just about any strain to fit pretty much anything that's going on with your body just to right. help with comfort. Now, in our stores, we tell everybody, look, we can't say that this cures anything. Right. No, we, we say that helps with comfort. Yeah. And why not provide the right solutions for people to improve their comfort? And that's pretty much one of our goals. And I think people also have to realize too that, you know, CBD helps the body, but we also have to incorporate a healthy lifestyle along with CBD because, you know, people have this notion that you could just, you know, either take CBD or pop a pill or do this. And then, you know, they expect magic results, but it's all about incorporate. You can incorporate CBD into your lifestyle. You can feel better, but if you're not going to have a healthy lifestyle, you're not going to get good sleep. You're not going to put quality foods into your body and, you know, feed your body and put yourself on a pedestal pedestal, your body is not going to heal properly and you're not going to feel the results, you know, those maximum results that you actually can feel. How do you feel about that? That's perfect. Mary, I'm going to have you say something on this after um, I interject this, but Mary has really been the driving force behind all the change because she wants everybody healthy and she selfishly wants the family healthy. Yeah. And then <laughs> she brings people from the outside into her family and wants them to be healthy. So she's a wonderful advocate for better living. In that, uh, we perfected what we do, and it's not just cannabis that we use to change our lives. Right. Uh, I call it cannabis and cuisine, but it's really cannabis and lifestyle, just lifestyle changes. Because of Mary, um, I eat far healthier. <laughs> and, you know, I don't want a disease to have an opportunity, as easy of, of an opportunity to take me out. Right. And because of Mary's driving, and it was just a positive energy to push me, and it's like, hey, do you, would you rather eat this and have to worry about the inflama inflammation afterwards, yes. or would you rather enjoy this and feel great longer? So it's exactly. an easy decision over time. And I wish Mary was able to uh, clone herself to get more people coached into following just good decision making when it comes yeah. to keeping yourself alive. Because, you know, a, a healthy lifestyle could be so easy to incorporate into your life. It's just doing the research and understanding what your body needs and really listening to your body too, like inflammation, you know, um, that is really big in the United States. People complain about inflammation. There's, you know, women complaining. I look like I'm three months pregnant. Men are saying, or women are saying my joints hurt. I'm achy. And this all has to do with inflammation. Now, CBD also can help inflammation. Maybe you can tap onto that and explain how CBD actually can benefit somebody, you know, with, with inflammation. Mary started. I've got lots of scientific backing on that. Well, go ahead. You're on a roll, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead. I, I love hearing it again. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not going to be on a, a soapbox here, but I love how CBD is a really good agent uh, for inflammation. There's study after study going into place. There, I've found 60 studies that I've been pulling from and I've been reviewing. There's a lot of recurring themes in these studies and the overlying or the uh, true uh, gist of them is that CBD helps improve the body's response to inflammation. Yeah. I won't say that it gets rid of inflammation, but it improves the body's response to inflammation. The body can get rid of its own inflammation, which we know if we just give it a healthy environment. Right. It, you know, stay away from the sugars, stay away from the unnecessary trans fats, you know, yes. and, you know, just a better lifestyle, including diet. Mm -hmm. Then the CBD goes into turbo and you can really get your body into a much better state just simply by following what nature has pretty much laid out in front of us. And we get arguments, um, these nice, modest, uh, polite arguments in the shop sometimes. People will come in and say, my doctor said, mm -hmm. say it on that. And then when I propose different solutions, either I'm a heretic immediately, right, or <laughs> they tend to open up a little bit and they say, you know, that has some truth to it. Let me do some research. Right. So. I love it when people have that little bit of a light bulb start to light up over their head. And once they've 
started the research. I give them um, information that we have these little bookmarks that quote out information that we provide in the dis dispensaries and people use that to do their own research. And once they become a little bit more open-minded to mother nature being yeah. your health advocate rather than whatever the doctor says, right. Uh, it really gives them more opportunity for healing instead of just what uh, traditional medicine says. Yes. And you know, Every doctor, you know, the way they've been taught in medical school that you know, they create their own values and theories according to the way they were taught. And, you know, a lot of different schools have their own theories and their own way of thinking. And when you go to different schools, they each have their own individualized, you know, way of looking at illness and looking at cure and illness. So, you know, each doctor is going to have its own view. And also older doctors might not be, you know, as well up to date with a lot of the information that's recent been coming out through science and a lot of even pharmaceutical companies have you know have been making drugs for um with cbd in it and with cannabis in it and because they're finding that it actually can cure many illnesses i shouldn't say the word cure it can improve a lot of illnesses and you know um and so you know even with epilepsy you know recently they have you know passed at least one drug that i know that, you know, helps with con seizure control, you know, because it blocks, you know, and calms the receptors in the brain and the neur neurons in the brain. So it has, it has a, 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 a nice flow to it. And you're not getting those spikes that cause people with epilepsy to have seizures, you know, and also even with um, pain, you know, that's a big issue in, in the United States and everywhere around the world, pain management. We have, we have all different types of conditions that cause pain. Pain is a symptom of many illnesses. Now, maybe you could tap on and talk about how CBD and even cannabis could actually block the pain receptors and actually help people release that, you know, in that pain, you know, a level of pain that they're experiencing. Probably uh, our largest audience that comes into our stores are those who have pain. Mm -hmm. And that secondarily would be... Um, neurological issues such as PTSD or anxiety, depression, and those things. Mm -hmm. But uh, it does work on the pain receptors. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's Dave, for example, you know, has been prescribed all kinds of narcotics for his pain because yeah. now he has a, after the fourth time he had tumors, he, they gave him radiation and that's left him with a lot of pain. Right. And, and as a matter of fact, we went to see the pain management doctor a week ago. And he only gave him two options. Well, either you take the amitriptyline or you take the oxy. Right. And then I said, well, wait, what about ketamine therapy? What about THC? Right. And then he started talking about those in the positive way, but he didn't give that to us as an option, right. which I thought was, he's a pain management doctor and yeah. was not going down that path. Why? I'm not really sure why, right. but- you know, it, it is an option that wasn't put on the table for us to discuss right? until we brought it up. So it does help that people get educated. And that's what we do all the time, all day long, is we're educating people about their options. Yeah, you can take up, you know, an oxycodone and so forth for pain, but you're going to be damaging your liver and so forth. And even Advil is bad for the lining of the stomach. Uh, it has side effects. Mm -hmm. Whereas this botanical, this herb really doesn't have side effects like you would see in a pharmaceutical. I mean, right. You may get the munchies. You may get a little bit of dry mouth, yeah. um, you know, and dosing, of course, is everything. You know, if you take too little, you're not going to feel the effects. If you take too much, you're going to feel maybe uh, something with high THC. You're going to feel buzzed. You're going to feel yeah. high. Um, but yeah. And so it's a great way to maintain, you know, to maintain homeostasis. CBD is a wonderful anti-inflammatory. Does not have very much THC in it. So for those who don't want to feel high, that is a beautiful option. You mm -hmm. can function throughout the day. You can you can work. You can take care of your family and not be high and have pain abatement. Right. CBD, in addition to the pain abatement that is associated with the inflammation. Uh, it doesn't provide the analgesic qualities that the THC does. Right. So a lot of people confuse those two. And in our stores, what we do is we try to educate people with a very simple explanation of 
how the CBD works and how it's kind of a yin yang impact with CBD yeah. and THC because so many people think THC, yeah, let's just get messed up and hang out on the couch. Right. And <laughs> that, that interpret that stoner interpretation of THC is so wrong. It's so off. Right. Because we, we come across people who come in saying I'm in pain and here's what, what hurts. Mm-hmm. And we'll offer things like a topical that has a full spectrum with a lot of CBD or the drops or edibles, something that has their preference lined up. And we discover that people want to have, of course, the analgesic qualities, but they start learning that if they just attack the inflammation, they don't need the analgesic qualities later. Right. And people aren't getting that right away because the media portrays hemp, cannabis, anything that comes from that plant, uh, cannabis sativa, as kind of a uh, persona non grata. It's, it's like, yeah. well, don't talk about them. That's the cousin who doesn't hang out with us. Right. And it's really a great plant. Of course, you know, everybody says in moderation. I say, I say not moderation, just education. Exactly. Exactly. There's not enough education behind it. And what is already known from anecdotal and from just regular therapeutic use. And mm-hmm. we don't need a whole bunch more scientific studies, but I hope there is. Yeah. Oh, I sure but, there's going to be. But these people, uh, they can discover it's like, wow, that whatever solution from the products is really works. And we know in um, so many cases, it's not just uh, a placebo effect. We right. can change things around and, oh, that doesn't work. Try this one. Hey, that does work. And it's a botanical. So you have to kind of play with the formulation a little bit until people are a little bit more in tune. It's kind of like, what's their frequency on the cannabis product? Right. And CBD and CBG, so many other cannabinoids that don't get you high right. are available and people don't know about it. Yes. But listen to the media. Everything's about the Delta and yeah. uh, it's all evil. Well, you know, I think the the sad thing is, is that, you know, um, a lot of fake news sells, you know, gets people's attention because they hype it up into something that it's not. And, you know, a lot of people believe what they read or hear. And you have to really, you know, do your research. I say, you know, go to the medical journals, look at the scientific evidence. Don't listen to what you hear, you know, because it's a lot of the stuff that you have on the internet is not accurate. They're written by people that don't have the knowledge to be writing these articles, you know, and uh, you really have to do the research. You have to be your own little doctor in a sense. And then you can also talk to your doctor, you know, if you have a doctor that understands about CBD or understands about cannabis and, you know, ask them, well, I heard this, is this true? You know, can this do this? Can this do that? You know, and, and that's how you get the right answers, you know, and people, you know, we have like a persona, we think of the seventies, you know, where they made a big hype with the, you know, the Hippie right. and you know smoking pot and and that's what sticks in a lot of people's head from the older generations and they they you know and what you don't know you fear and it, it you know and the thing is is that people have to get more well educated and be open to it because if they really looked at the facts they'd realize how beneficial you know hemp and how beneficial CBD and how beneficial cannabis is to the body and the wonders it can do. And I think what we need to learn also is that people do have to, if they're taking medications, you know, they have to really ask the doctor if those medications will, you know, interact with with CBD before they go and they try CBD on their own. Because there are a lot of medications that the potency of the medications will decline with CBD. Yep, so that is you correct. have to be careful, you know. How do you feel about all that? Well, you know, this, yep. that... And I'm sorry, at the stores, when we're consulting with people, we tell them, yeah, talk to your doctor, but also uh, talk to your pharmacist because they study pharmacology, they right. study chemistry. The doctors maybe have a semester of that. So yeah. they don't really understand the full um, impact of what CBD can do for the body when it's interacting with other drugs yeah. or anesthesia, for example. Mm-hmm. Uh, you want to know about all those things. Fortunately, from all the years and the thousands of customers that we've seen that have told us, oh, yeah, I've taken CBD with my medication, uh, and occasionally they do get a bad reaction. And when I say bad, it's not terrible. They say it made me feel kind of funny. 
mm-hmm. like SSRIs, for example, it's competing with those feel good receptors in the brain. Yeah. Um, you know, and uh, so I tell them, yeah, you, you really want to do your research, go to Google and type in PubMed when you're doing your research or Google Scholar, um, you know, read the medical publications, talk to a pharmaco- pharmacist, do your due diligence. We yeah. always encourage people to do your due diligence. And it's surprising that a lot of people actually don't. They just kind of go with anecdotal stuff. But yeah. if you need to do your research, especially for those who are taking like 15 or 20 different medications, my goodness, you really do need to do your research on that. Yeah. And I think, you know, people have to realize, wouldn't it be better to take something that was natural that, you know, that instead of taking an opioid, we have so many people addicted to those, you know, and people, and we still have doctors prescribing them like they're candy. And, you know, <laughs> you, you, you have such a, an addiction epidemic in our society, people, you know, there are so many people addicted to medications and, you know, it all starts, you know, with the doctors, you know, not looking at things in a more natural way. How can we solve this, you know, and maybe, you know, improve this problem by looking at it in a more holistic way, rather than just giving them a a pill that, you know, can give them lots of side effects. And then they come back and say, you know, I don't feel good. I have this symptom. Now they give them another medication and before you know it, they have a whole pharmaceutical of their own in their bathroom. And they're getting the reactions. Their their body is declining because you know that your body, you know, so, like you said, the liver, you know, other things, you know, can be affected. You can have adverse effects. You know, I know people that have taken a medication and the adverse effect has caused them to have liver damage or have kidney damage. And you know, it's you know, you have to be very careful. So why not go the holistic way first? Try it, you know, and you know, see if it works, you know. And if it doesn't, then you could look at other options or maybe combine the two and you change your lifestyle a little. I think if we come, if we as a society, if we become more open-minded and we do our research and we learn before we open our mouths and, and become skeptics, learn and be open-minded. You know, there's, there's never, you could be at any age and there's always, you could always learn no matter, nobody knows it all. Don't you think? <laughs> Right. <laughs> We're learning something new all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, you got to listen to uh, your, your own doubt because it's like, oh, I wonder what that is. So you really need to investigate things more. And because of that, Mary and I are the kind of people who could say we take zero prescriptions That's because wonderful. we've learned how to use uh, diet, exercise, just, you know, better living, even attitude. Mm -hmm. to eliminate the need for so many medications. Of course, that doesn't mean we're irresponsible and don't go to the doctors and get blood panels and stuff like that. We can certainly do that. But uh, I think people, if they're just cognizant, and you were pretty much uh, running through these ideas already, people, once they're aware that you're simply by doing the right thing or live longer, then big things happen. I'm not even supposed to be alive now. Right. And uh, I think everything's just a blessing. And once yes. you regard life as a blessing, you want to hang on. Yeah, definitely. And, def- you know, and there are cases like that all the time. You know, people, mm-hmm. they they change their life. They change their way of doing things. And, you know, and all of a sudden, you know, the problem goes away and, and doctors are stunned. They can't understand. How did this person get healed? How is this person still alive? Well, you know there's proof, there's evidence, you're the evidence, you know, if we change our lifestyle, if we change the way we live, if we change things, and we listen to our bodies, and we do the right thing, there could be, you know, other options, and longevity could be one of them. That's certainly true. And so many people, when they listen to their doctors, and the doctors have just one viewpoint, and that's what people get stuck on is that one viewpoint. Yeah. When you ask more questions, you get more viewpoints, then you can make a very intelligent decision. That yes. one doctor's viewpoint is such a one directional and yes. you need more omnidirectional before you can make a great decision. Oh, hundred percent. I tell people that all the time. It doesn't hurt to get a second opinion. If you're going through something serious, you know, I suggest getting a second opinion, you know, or a third opinion, you know, and a fourth and a fifth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But I want the you, options. Yeah, exactly. You want the options. Definitely do. Now, for for your products, for Carolina Hemp Hut, where can people find these products so they can, you know, you know, maybe look at the different types that you offer. Maybe you can explain some of them that you offer and where they can find them. 
So we have two stores in North Carolina, one in Hillsboro, and the other one is in Durham. And of course, you can go always go online at carolinahemphut.com and order, and we can ship anywhere in the United States. I do encourage people to ask a lot of questions. All of our employees have been trained by us, so they're consultants first and salespeople second. And that way people can make a better and, and informed decision on what products are best for them because let's say you have pain. You may need some CBD, but you also may need a little boost of THC or some CBG. CBN is good for sleep. CBT is good for glaucoma. The list goes on and on as yeah. more studies come out. You know, we can create a very custom um, program for people if they come and talk to us and tell us, you know, what they need, what, you know, what they're looking for. And they walk away happy because right. now they've got this nice custom cocktail that's made just for their body. And, um, and then they slowly start weaning themselves off of prescription medication if that's what their goal is. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, come, come to the stores, call us. I'm always doing free phone consultations for people. I am so happy to talk to people on the phone. Mm -hmm. I was on the phone a couple of days ago with a gentleman for like an hour and a half. Wow. And yeah, it was just, you know, we just uh, talked about a lot of things. I mean, I could talk an hour easily just on CBD. Yeah. <laughs> easily. Cause there's so much, there's so much research out there and all the things that it can do for your body. And we just, we can drill down as much as we need to. Um, and if that makes you happy, you know, and that makes you make a better and informed decision. And that's what we'll do for you. That's wonderful. You know, I, I think people really need to be open-minded and really, and I think we are, I think our society is changing now. I think, you know, people are now becoming more open. And the good thing is, is people were looking for marijuana to relax and they were getting it off the streets. You never know what's in that. And, you know, and a lot of people have gotten really hurt by, by doing things the wrong way. And, um, you know, at least now that every, you know, cannabis is being approved in lots of states and we have the CBD, people can go to a more healthier route and be able to heal their bodies and actually do it the safe way and not have any types of, you know, bad occurrences because, you know, they're doing it a, a way they shouldn't do it, which is illegally. Yeah. And that's scary. You can get it off the street, but you don't know what you're getting. Exactly. So all of our products are made in the USA and they're all lab tested, made in GMP, ISO certified facilities. And we show them to people. We keep a binder and say, you can see the certificate of analysis or scan the QR code and look for yourself. Some products are even USDA certified organic, if that's the route you want to go. But yeah, it and it and the price is probably not any different than getting it off the street. And so <laughs> why would you want to risk it? Exactly. Especially now when you hear about fentanyl and you hear about all these horror stories, why risk your life when you can do something safely and have something that's more effective and probably and you're going to get really great results from. And above board. Yes. But yeah, <laughs> exactly. Guys, it's been a pleasure having you on the show today. I'm going to put all their information. This is Carolina Hemp Hut, and I ha will have all their information, their websites, where you can contact them. If you have any questions and all the products they have, where that you can find them on my description, it'll be on my podcast and it'll also be on YouTube where you can see this video. Thank you so much guys for coming. It's been a pleasure being in you both. And thank you guys for what you're doing because you know the world needs more people like you trying to help people holistically and trying to improve lives of others. And you, you took an obstacle in your life, a very terrifying trauma and you turned into something positive, both of you. And now you're helping your family and you're helping the world around you. So I give you guys kudos. And you guys are doing a great job. And thank you so much for sharing all this on our show. I really appreciate you have both of you on the show today. Thank, thank you very much, Stacey. It's been it's a great, a have a great day. Thanks, you too.